Good morning, everybody. Except it's evening, and we're here at Twist and Fork. It is Thursday night. It is line dancing night. It's also the last time Mama will get to come here line dancing for, what, four or five weeks? So the girls are having their line dancing time, and I am headed back to the house to uh, get some video game playing time in. I only have a couple days left, and then I won't be able to play video games. So we're gonna hop in the truck. I'll talk to you guys in the truck on the way home, and then uh, we'll see you in a few. All right, on the road. So that's something I want to talk to you guys about. Let's see if I can move you here where I can see you while I'm driving. Anyway, reviews. You guys see them all the time, right? Well, I've always been one that has not taken free stuff to do a review. Everything that I review, I buy and uh, use it for quite a while, and then I do a review on it. And it's an honest review. I owe nobody nothing, right? Um, but I get, I don't know, two, three offers a day for people to send me stuff to do a review on. So what do you guys think? I am honestly thinking about accepting them all and uh, just doing reviews on them. It'll be stuff that I don't even want, I don't even care about, uh, but I'll unbox them, I'll review them, just, I think it'd be fun, because some of the stuff, like one this week, was a $200 toilet seat, that was like a bidet, is that how you say it, bidet, one of those that squirts you in the butt or whatever, I don't know, anyway, so it was a $200 toilet seat, but they're like, we'll send it to you if you'll do a review on it, um, it's Angie and I have decided that they're listening to us, right? Because we've been talking about, you know, we have our poo crew, right? We've been talking about poop a lot because of our mascot for the Rep Rider. And then just all of a sudden, I get an email out of the blue from a company that wants me to do a review on a, a $200 toilet seat. And then, like, Insta360 wants me to do a review on their camera and there's been like motorcycle batteries and some of this stuff is just probably pretty legit most of them are chinese companies um at home i do have you know i take that back i have had one thing sent to me it was a cup holder for the jeep and i have never this jackass is going to pull right out in front of me thanks a lot anyway um somebody did reach out to me and they had a cup holder for my jeep and this was back when the Jeep wasn't running. And they're like, we want to send you this cup holder. And I was like, whatever, just send it to me. So they did send it to me. And honestly, it's still sitting in a box. I haven't touched it. Um, they reached out and they're like, when are you going to do that? And at the time, the Jeep wasn't running. And I was like, well, you know, probably whenever the Jeep gets to run. I'm sorry, I'm in a standard. I'm going to have to shift. Got to shift hands here. This might work better anyway. I don't do many videos in the truck, so challenge next week i'll be doing motorcycle i'll be doing videos on the motorcycle so see if i remember how to do that anywho um well a sunglass company reached out to us which is right down mama badger's alley right and they had all these crazy sunglasses and they're like we'll send you sunglasses if you'll do reviews on them now some of this stuff for me, one of the reasons that I've never done this is they're sending me, you know, a $40 item and then they expect me to do a, whatever, five minute review on it. Well, it's not just five minutes, right? It takes you, what, an hour to shoot the damn video and then an hour to actually um, edit it and upload it and then you put it on your channel. So, I mean, what's your value per hour? So usually when people, companies like this reach out to me, I'm like, look, it's 500 bucks if you want me to do, if you want me to do a video for you um, and put it on my platforms, it's 500 bucks. And that usually gets them to leave me alone. Although here lately, man, they just keep hammering. Um, another one was uh, this company that does repair manuals. So they do repair manuals for cars, trucks, um, even Harleys, because that was my question, and they wanted me to, they want to send me some repair manuals if I will use them in my videos, which I'm already doing repair videos, so that one kind of makes sense, 
But like I said, I have, I, I separated them out all day. I have a folder in my inbox full of companies offering me stuff if I will do a review on it. So I'm thinking it might be fun just to review some of this off the wall stuff. And you guys know me and, and Mama and we're a little crazy and look at the world a little different than most. So there is no telling what kind of review they're gonna get with this. And uh, to be honest with you, I don't like Phil obligated or anything if they send me some little piece of crap for me to do a review um if i say i'll do a review i will it may not be exactly what they're looking for but i'm not promising them what the review will be just that i'm doing a review anyway i guess my question is what do you guys think would you do you watch those review videos just to see what come in the mail next right and of course I can't do it while I'm on the road but when I'm home like I was thinking in in June end of May I'll reach back out to all these people and I'll be like all right send it to me and then I will just have a crap load of product to do reviews on in June what do you think tell me below is that something that you guys would watch or not I mentioned it to mama and she looked at me like I was like maybe slightly insane but I don't know I'm just thinking it would be fun I'm always looking for stuff to do that would be like I could make fun of and have fun with um, life is too short to just do the same old boring dull crap right so anyway that was my thoughts and these people keep wanting me to review their stuff so I might as well oblige them right they get a review and I get a, I get something to play with. Anywho, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. We got three days left. Tomorrow morning I think we're going to meet with uh, Bob and Tam. They're in the area. So we're going to have uh, breakfast with them. And then, uh, yeah, we got Friday, Saturday, Sunday and we hit the freaking road. So, got a lot to do in a little time. Anywho, that is it. The end. Have yourselves a great day. And we'll see you all tomorrow.